Lithography works on the fact that grease and water repeals each other. I think a good way of explaining is if you ever have drop butter or oil on your kitchens and try to remove it with water, you know how the water just kind of fall on the edges of the grease. That's basically what makes lithography work. A lithography you print traditionally from a lithography stone, which is a special kind of limestone that is taken from one quarry in Germany. The first step of the process is that you want to grain and level the stone so it's completely level and have a fine grit on it that you can draw on. When you start your drawing you use a lithography crayon that have a grease contents in them or a touche wash. You draw this on the stone and the artist create their artwork. When the drawing is done you start to process the stone to prepare it for printing. The first step of processing your stone and preparing it for printing is called the first etch. What we want to do is to start the chemical process that prepare your stone to be printed. After you've drawn your image, the stone is still sensitive to grease and we need to desensitize the stone. By using gum arabic and nitric acid, we will be starting the chemical process. You're applying gum arabic onto the stone which together with the limestone creates a layer that we call absorbed gum layer. The gum arabic and the nitric acid will together help the grease from the drawing material get penetrated into the stone and create a greasy reservoir directly underneath your drawing. This is where your printmaking ink will hold on to because grease and grease attract each other. After you've done your first etch, you want your stone to rest for at least an hour so that the grease can get settled into the stone. After you've been waiting and the stone been resting, we are going to start the second part of the processing of the stone, which is to wash out the drawing materials and replace them with the printmaking ink. In lithography, we use a special printmaking ink. The first step to do when you wash out your drawing is to use turpentine to literally wash out and remove the drawing from the stone. At this point, you can only see a ghost image of the drawing you've made, and this is the grease that's been penetrated into the stone from the first edge. After that, you want to buff in a bit of the printmaking ink onto the stone and let the stone rest for about five minutes. After that, we will be using a leather roller to roll up the stone with printmaking ink. We sponge on the surface of the stone and to create a thin layer of water. And this is when the absorbed gum layer is helping to hold on to the water. After you sponge, you want to straight away roll your roller with the printmaking ink onto the stone, which will attract to the grease that is already in the stone. And you can see your image building up again. After you have rolled off your stone, it's time to do the second etch. The second etch helps to really establish the absorbed gum layer to make sure that the stone is not sensitive to grease anymore. The second etch works in the same way as the first etch. You apply gum arabic onto the stone and you're also applying a gum arabic mixed with nitric acid onto the stone. After you've done your second etch, I think you also want your stone to rest for at least an hour. But then, after the stone been resting, you can start printing your stone. To print your stone, you need to have a special lithography press. You place your stone on the press and you adjust the pressure for that stone because all stone got different thickness. Then you want to wash out the ink that you have on the stone. You use turbs, wash it out buffins, the ink you will be printing with, and then you roll up the stone in the same way as you do when you're rolling up to prepare it for the second edge. When you get the right blackness of the stone, you can start pulling prints. And between every paper, you need to re-ink your stone. And when your prints start to get gray, you need to add more ink to your roller as well.